So for standard cell potential, another note that I would like to make is also about the, the sign or polarity of the standard cell potential. It says if the standard cell potential for a given overall reaction or a given full cell reaction is positive, if the calculated standard cell potential is positive, it means the reaction as written or as indicated would proceed spontaneously. On the other hand, if the standard cell potential is negative, it means the reverse reaction will proceed spontaneously. It means the original reaction cannot happen normally, while the reverse reaction would proceed spontaneously. Okay, still let's use the example of iron versus zinc cell. Okay, we have iron and zinc inserted into solutions with separation membrane. Okay, and we know the standard electrode potential for the iron, iron 2 plus is minus 440 volt. Well, the standard actual potential for the zinc 2 plus zinc is minus 0.763 volt. Okay, for assume, let's just assume the reduction reaction, also called a cathodic reaction, is actually happening on, is happening on the zinc electrode, which means zinc 2 plus combined with electron to form zinc metal. If this is the reduction reaction, well, the oxidation of the so-called anodic half-cell reaction is iron gives out an electron to become iron 2 plus. If we can make these two assumptions, then the overall reaction, it will be left plus left, right plus right. We have iron combined with zinc 2 plus to form iron 2 plus and zinc metal. This would be the overall of full cell reaction. If this is the case, then the standard cell potential for such a, I call it hypothetical full cell reaction. Hypothetical full cell reaction. I will explain in a minute. But for if we can write this reaction, and the arrow goes this way, which means going from iron metal to iron 2 plus, from zinc 2 plus to zinc metal. The standard cell potential for such a hypothetical reaction would be standard electrode for the cathodic reaction minus standard electrode for the anodic reaction. Keep in mind, cathodic re reaction is in this case for the zinc, for the zinc, which is minus 0.763 volt. Well, the anodic half cell reaction in this case would be for the ion, for the ion, which is minus 0.440 volt. And then when you do the subtraction, the result would be a minus number, minus 0.323 volt. Okay? Minus 0.323 volt. This means the reaction, the negative sign here that we got for this hypothetical reaction. You can get, write such a reaction, you can get a, a standard cell potential and it turns out to be negative. The, that negative sign, as we mentioned, means the reaction as written here is read to yourself, not spontaneous. It's not spontaneous. It's equivalent to say the reverse reaction, the reverse reaction for this guy, which is from zinc to zinc iron, from iron 2 plus to iron, would have a standard cell potential of still cathodic minus anodic, which would be the reverse reaction would be for the iron electrode to minus the zinc electrode and it will be positive 0.323 and this reverse reaction would happen spontaneously and if the external circuit has finite resistance.
which means you just replace the voltmeter with the finite resistance load, and then the electron wouldn't flow from zinc side into the iron side. The iron two plus got reduced, while zinc metal got oxide. That is the spontaneous process. Well, the first reaction hypothetically that we wrote here will not be spontaneous, okay? Because the calculated standard cell potential is negative.